Hey everybody, how's it going? My name is Ivan and I am back with another Photoshop tutorial. This time around, I will be showing you how to make a logo like this one. And this logo can be used for, well this logo style can be used for places such as your Discord community, Roblox, or anywhere else you can really think of. It looks really simple, and it sort of is. The most complicated part of this whole creation is making this border that we're going to be, that's going to act as the outside of this logo. The rest of it is just overlays and stylizing text. So we're going to get started. We're going to create a new document. And if you've seen me mention in the past, I like to go with a thousand by a thousand as my default. Go like that. You can change your resolution if you want, but 72 works perfectly fine for this. I'm going to create that, make my new layer, delete the extra, and we're going to start out by making a circle that's 346 by 346 pixels. So we can just go like that for now because we're just going to resize it. 346 means 346. And you can always make this larger, just make sure the circle has proportionate sides. 346 is just how I'm basing it off for this time around. And I like to make sure everything is centered. Now to start out with the circle, we want to make sure that we do not have fill enabled. We're going to be using stroke. I'm just going to go with this gray color for the time being. And for the stroke, we want to go for 11.84 pixels. Make sure you do not have the dots, you want the solid line selected. So this is going to be the underlying base of, of our border. The next thing we want to do is you want to go to blending options, gradient overlay, and you want to use the following, the following colors for the gradient. So this is going to be the first color, I might actually even go a little darker. I like that and there's the hex code right at the bottom if you need it and for the white make sure it's completely white f f f f f i believe that's five f's go and play around with the scale a bit this should not this should be at 90. you don't want it tilted oops that is not what i want let's see I like that. I might even try to go for a bit more white at the top, but I don't think it's going to be possible. Actually, that's just cutting into the... This will work fine anyway. So we have this initial layer. Next thing we want to do is we want to add a stroke to the layer. Because if you remember for the past one, there were several different circles that I compiled together to make the border. So we're going to add a stroke, black stroke, at 2 pixels, then hit OK. Next, we're going to do is we're going to Control J and duplicate this layer and name this the inside circle or whatever you want to name it. But this is going to be the inside of the circle border that we're going to be making. Next step. Come to the bottom layer, clear layer style, blending options, stroke, and this time we're going to be doing a white stroke. Now make sure the stroke is for the outside. Five, you can even go six if you really wanted to make it a bit thicker, but I personally prefer five. It's kind of hard to see it. Let me just add a quick dark layer to the bottom so you can see the See, it's pretty thin, but it's going to look fine once we get to it. I'm just going to leave this red for now so you can see exactly what's going on. The next thing we're going to do is we're going to rasterize this layer. Quickly, before I do that, what I like to do, especially for larger projects, this isn't necessarily a large project, but I'll select all of that, Control G, Control G, Control J, and I'll name this Backup, and then I'll hide the layer, and I'll generally drag it all the way to the bottom. And that's where I'll keep a backup just in case I rasterize something and then I realize I made a mistake at some point. I have to go back to the originals. Saves you time, 
from having to remake everything. So now that you have this space, rasterize it, blending options, and we're gonna add our second black circle. You know, I think this might be the actually the <laughs> quickest tutorial I've ever made. All the other ones are over 30 minutes. All right. Yep, two pixels again. Let's see, actually, let's see how three looks. I don't like three at all. Two. Keep it at two. Rasterize that. You could even just rasterize the whole thing together. Wait. Rasterize it and then merge layers. And now you have your little background circle area. What you're going to do is you're going to name this the circle. Or, there we go. I'm just going to go over here and grab this image real quick because I don't have it saved on my computer because this is a really old logo I made. So I didn't, I don't have any of those images before. Make sure you click the clipping mask on it. You can hold alt or you can right click and do that. Now you have this image right in the border and it looks pretty neat. At least I think it does. Adjust it if you want to. Whatever you like. So next I want to make the little background area. I probably should just reuse one of my circles. Wait, can I use my backup? This is gonna be our inside overlay backgrounds. I named it that because it's gonna be where we put our next image. You can choose any color. I'm probably gonna go for something like this so I can easily spot if there is something missing. So you take the stroke off. I don't want any of that there. Clear are the layer styles. Let's just transform it a bit. Just so not a whole lot sticking out of the circle. And you can see the blue line, the edges, that's just the edges of the circle. So now you have your backgrounds and you have your border. What I always do with these is the same image I use for their border, I'm going to be using for the inside. So I'm just going to control J that, make it normal, bring it down, right click, click clipping mask. Now we have our background for that image. The next step, I didn't, I didn't, you don't see it in this other one, but we bring in a character to use for that artwork. Let's go to Photoshop, Models, Female Models. Let's find someone who will fit well for this. I suppose we could go with this character. It, do, it is missing a piece of the hat. If you've seen my other videos, you know I absolutely hate it when there's a piece of a character missing. Because it, it just doesn't look all that great. Drop her in, bring her to the top. We're gonna make sure that it's the same as the banner tutorials. We want the bottom cut out and we want the head visible. So I'm just gonna transform her real quick with Control T, flip her width by putting a minus at the front, and let's do some small adjustments to get her to fit in. Let's see, this might be a good size already, but I think that's even better. Yep. And keep in mind, for, especially for Discord, the more you have out the top, the smaller the image is going to appear. So you could also just make, you could also just not have any pieces of her sticking out. You could have it all completely inside the circle. And then this image will completely fill your Discord icon. For Roblox, it's going to be the same thing. Or I think the majority of places that you try to use this logo at. So we have that there. I'm going to do some quick touch-ups. Her. Drop the brightness, contrast, go over to vibrance, bump that up, that up, a little bit more. Okay, that's good. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out the bottom of her figure. Actually, what we can do is much simpler. Grab the marquee tool, go over to her head, and the pieces that you want sticking above, generally this line right here is what I want above the head, and just control J that. And that's going to be top head. No, I just see my brain. 
And then this next part, I'm sorry, I haven't made this banner, this logo in a while, so I'm just, I'm figuring out as I go. I'm gonna put it at the bottom. And what we can do is we can come out here with the marquee tool and just chippity choppity, her body is gone inside. Go with the lasso tool here. That you don't cut out any piece of her there at all. Go. And now you have her at the top and you have her at the back, which is exactly what we wanted. You could have also added a drop shadow before you did any of the chops, but I'm not going to be doing a drop shadow for mine. Let me quickly just organize this. Control G, I'm going to make sure this is called the backgrounds. Model, e, border, and I'll color them. I like to keep things colored just so I know what is what. Why don't I put this in a group? Oh well, I'll leave it like that for now. Next thing we're going to do is we're going to add the text. I'm still using the same font, New Comic BD. I'm not sure. I have it linked in the other videos, but it's a really nice and versatile font. Larger. Obviously, I am not going to be just for these quick adjustments. Speed up this part if I could. We'll go for this, and we can always just change the size later if we want to. Let me just change the text color. Let's go with that for the time being. We're going to start out with a bevel and emboss. We're going to do 74, 7, should. First part done. Tour. Next, we're going to add a stroke. Make sure it's white. Make sure it's on the outside. It's three. Go with four. Pattern overlay. Using the this one. There we go. A drop shadow. Bring the size down. I'm using an ATA because this is based off of the old group name for Tsuki before we renamed ourselves. So this is a general border. You can play around text, you can play around with the character, border, and everything. And the same thing as before, if you want to save it, just hover that over the entire thing with the marquee tool, go to edits, copy merge, file, new, eight, control V to paste it, delete that, and you have your character. So please don't do what I did sure that your character has all of the pieces intact. Otherwise, you're going to be having this at the top, and it's really sad to look at. Just very depressing. Let's turn that from actually very unhappy the way things are turned out. Because Whole hat is missing. Yeah, tutorial is done if you were wondering. It's for no shot. Well, that is way too big. Her hat is missing. She is very unhappy. Poor thing. All right. Anyway, the tutorial is done. Thanks for watching. I will include. I'm just gonna include this. 
file for download because you can really use any image. So you only really need this if you want to glance at what I did or get a better look at the settings. But if you want to try other images, feel free to just Google them and you're fine. Thanks for watching.